Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Deuce. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and this time I am in a level 1 full armor slave wraith, which I took going in totally blind. I didn't know anything about it. I think I'd watched uh, Seraphic Zero play it uh, one round because he really likes this, and I can see why now. And otherwise, I just kind of tried things until I stopped getting myself killed. And I'm in the end, I think I do fairly well. The, uh... It's got a whole... It's got, what, six different weapons? It's an uh, arm-mounted shield machine gun, a flash bomb, Vulcans, a missile launcher, a shoulder gatling, and a beam saber. It's basically the Gundam equivalent of War Machine, which... I like War Machine. I, I like Jim Rhodes. He's a cool guy. So I'm, I'm fine with that, and I think I know what I'm going to do with the color scheme next time I'm uh, using this. But yeah, it's level, it's good, I like it, and I'm definitely going to buy the level 2 when it's finished coming down. And missed me with his, uh, with his uh, slash, so I was able to get behind him. Hit him with the missiles, hit Conti 2, apologies. And now I'm messing up my messages because I'm trying to tell him sorry. And also having slightly more pressing things to do than tell him sorry, so... And yeah, there were a couple little lurches like that, complete with, like, sound mess-ups. And I don't know what happened. It, it just ha it happened, like, two, three times during this round and this round only, and then it was fine the rest of the night, before and after. So, beats me. So far, we've got a pretty decent lead. I'm not doing a ton of damage, but I'm learning the thing, and I, I like it. I think from from long range, the best combo I have off the top of my head is Missile Launcher followed by Backpack Gatling. I think that's probably about the best you can manage. But I bet with the Flash Bomb in there too, you can probably do some much better things close up. Hmm. I wonder if Flash Bomb to Missile to Downswing would work. I'll have, to th I'll have to think about that. Got that guy. Well, they got that guy. I didn't got nothing. And then I see people over there, and decide to see if I can hit them at range. I think I do hit the sniper at range, or try to. Didn't get it, but now I can scope in and Gatling a lot. This is another one, I mean, it can do its own stunning, and later in the round I get better at that, but this is a great mobile suit for taking advantage of other people's stuns, and I really, really should have had a database link on this. If I had been thinking... I, I would have had that, because just so much so much targeted damage with that Gatling. But yeah, as you can see, it can finish things off pretty efficiently. So... Right, but yeah, I'm, I spend a lot of time targeting legs in this round. Yeah, I need to... I need to put whatever the highest level of this I end up owning through the hangar, and I need to put a database link so I can cripple people more efficiently. That's going to be the uh, secret to success with this, I bet. And here's me closing on a Zagok, which is a melee type, which I'm weak to because I'm smart. But I thought I could do some decent damage to it, and I was curious, so... And I hit Guang, and I'm so sorry. I didn't think that swing was going to tag you. Did not mean to get you hit there. So sorry. And just waiting for a good time for the flashbang when I won't be messing him up. And this is it! Gotcha. And missiles. And... Gatling. And done. And I actually spotted someone coming in uh, behind me. I think that's the Zaku R1A type, which is used by a number of uh, Xeon aces from, uh, introduced in Mobile Suit Variations, Shin Matsunaga is one, and that's whose color scheme that was, more or less. Also, the Black Tri-Stars used them. But, it turns out that the Isaku R1A can use the 4-2 missile launcher on, that goes with the, uh, Yuma Gelgug, which you should be seeing sometime soon. I have a nice video from last week where uh, Lord Antonius and I wound up using the same uh, Gelgug, and I didn't use it very well. But it's interesting, and I think if I get more practice with it and level it up about 73 times, it could be fun to use. 
last week. I haven't posted anything from last week because sadly, I, it was interesting matches and most everybody had a good time. But I just I lost every single round, and by the end of the night, it was getting to me. Because for one thing, the end of the night it was like one something in the morning, and I am an old. There, stunned it. If I can follow with missiles, that would be good, and I did, and... Now I'm surrounded, so that was not my best plan. I'm not sure where I went to go with that from there, honestly. I should have gone to the downswing, but didn't think of it. And got myself surrounded and killed. No big. I think this is... Is this assault mode, or is this still, uh... No, this is still just normal mode, so I will be respawning a good while. Yeah, I like this thing. It has a lot of options, a lot of possibilities, and yeah, I'm going to get the higher level ones when I can. And it is now two minutes left, so the uh, value of destroying the enemy base has gone up. I forget the amount by which it goes up, but it's, it's substantial. So if you can... You know, plant your bomb and defend it at, like, oh, what, two minutes and 59 seconds left? That can work out. And I just kind of noticed I was the closest thing to the enemy team, and it was probably best to go away. So I backed up just a little bit and started using uh, Gatlings and things, and, yeah. Got stunned, I think, by one of my own people. Either that or it caught the shield, neither way. You know. It, it may have been a, friend, a friendly fire thing. It may have been just lucky that it hit the shield. The one thing I kind of wish that Battle Operation had ever done, and it never has, is you have hit point bars for the head and the leg over there. I would like to know the durability of the shield. That's, that's something that always would have been of value for me to learn, and it was just never quite there. And... Somebody else got the tank right before I did, so it kind of wasted my missile charge there. Managed to stun that Gelgug. Missiles are ready. Stunned it with those, and someone knocked me over. Probably the uh, Zaku R1A, because that can stun from a long distance. And that's how a little melee uh, I actually damage I actually do. That tiny little speck. But I did, you know, kill whoever that was via trampling, so, you know, it's something. Just waiting. Tackled too early, but it decided to go elsewhere, and it tackled itself, which means I had time to stun it. And it got killed. I didn't get points, but that's okay. It got killed. So, yeah, fun round. I like this. I think I did acceptably well for my first time out in the thing ever, and I will definitely be getting the higher level ones. Because this was great. From the look of it, it's another Gundam Ground type based uh, mobile suit, so it probably should keep the beam saber in the little panels on the side of its legs, but that's difficult to animate and would require a custom animation and more time, so none of the ground types actually do that in this game. Yeah, so I came in uh, last on the winning team. Well, second to last on the winning team, but again, for a mobile suit I'd never used and the highest pilot uh, kills score, I'd say that's pretty good. So yeah, there's 11 days left as of this recording until purchases are ended, and I'm curious to see what happens then. Will everything go to points? Because if so, that could make our you know U.S. accounts, our alternate accounts, formidable again. But... Or, you know, maybe nothing will be available after that, and that would be a tragedy. But we'll see what happens in when we hit May the 31st. Very strange. But otherwise, you know, nothing to report. Almost, like I said, almost all the promo suits are available one way or another right now. So, and the chip rates have increased decidedly, so... Since Platinum Chips still give things to uh, promo suits, you could well, you know, get progress on th uh, things you haven't worried about in years. So that'll do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation. We'll be back soon with more. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!